In this video, we will discuss the reasons for entering planned assessments into a protocol, demonstrate with a couple of examples, and introduce editor views by utilizing hidden fields. There are two main reasons for filling in planned assessment ratings in a protocol. First, this communicates to the trialist what data must be recorded. Using the assessment data editor provides a precise definition of what assessments to take and how they should take place, which is superior to a casual description that could be misunderstood. The second reason is that the data will be returned in a consistent format across trials. There are often several ways to describe the very same assessment in ARM. For example, a simple percent control assessment could be filled out in at least three different ways if given to three different researchers. By describing the rating ahead of time in the protocol, you ensure that the data is recorded consistently and thereby can be combined and summarized easily. It is not an overstatement to say that spending one more hour to add assessment descriptions can save 10 hours standardizing trial data that was otherwise entered in different ways. To demonstrate, let us begin by opening the tutorial protocol specifying planned assessments. In a protocol, the assessment data editor consists of just the assessment headers. This table is used to describe the assessment ratings that will be taken in the trial. Once we create a trial, a table will appear underneath the header for entering actual plot data. Our first planned assessment is a PEST stand count taken pre-emergence. If we have a particular weed that we are studying, we can specify it here. Otherwise, it would be up to the trialist to document which weeds were present. Since we are not assessing the crop, we leave the crop fields blank. The description can be used as a short, free text description of the assessment. We are counting how many weeds are present, so the part rated would be whole plants, and then specify that we are rating our pest, not the crop. Now filter the type list on count to see the types related to counting. The unit is number of weed plants, and we would want the total number of weeds in the entire plot. Finally, use the rating timing to describe when the assessment should be taken within the season. This could be relative to an application, a previous assessment, harvest, or in our case, emergence. Note that each assessment column corresponds to one individual rating or assessment. You may record several assessment values for each plot at one time but each of these goes into a different column when entering the data. Our next rating will be a percent control knockdown a week after our treatment application. We are studying the same weed, so just copy those fields across from the previous column. Then enter a description for this assessment. We are still rating the weed plant, but this time recording the percent of weeds knocked down in the plot, relative to the check. 
Thus, the untreated plots will be recorded as zero when data is entered. The treatment evaluation interval defines the amount of time between a treatment application and this assessment rating. Since we want this rating to occur a week after the last application, enter 7 days after application code B. Note that in a protocol, this field is used to communicate when to take the rating, but in the trial, it is used to document the actual timing of the assessment. Our final assessment will be the harvested weight. We want the trialist to simply enter the raw harvested weight. Then when we get the data back, we can convert the yield to a per area basis ourselves. This time we fill in the crop information since we are rating an aspect of the crop. Again, the part rated, rating type, and rating unit are critical for describing the assessment. Please note that this is not intended to be the best way to fill in a yield data column or a percent control assessment. Everyone may fill the assessment header in differently, but the key is to enter the assessment description in the protocol so that all of your trials will use the same description when data is returned. You may have noticed that there are several fields that we never filled in, like the rating date or assessed by. In our case, these would only be filled in by the trialist, and maybe some of these fields you would never use for your type of research. ARM can hide these fields from your view, so are not visible on the screen. Right-click into a field and choose Hide Current Field to remove it from the table. You can even hide fields that contain information. Know that this is simply the view of the information in the study, so entered information is not actually lost. Then on the Properties panel at the right, you can re-enable fields that were previously hidden by simply clicking on the box next to the field name. The choice of which data entry fields are visible and the way that they are presented on the screen is called the editor view in ARM. Most of the editors in ARM have their own view options with even more choices for customization. Note that all of these settings are saved to your computer, not within the study file itself. Thus, they may apply to any study that you open and anyone else viewing your studies can have their own view of the information.